हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चानल भूमि वर्ल्ड हॉप एवरी वन इज़ डूइंग ग्रेट इन अ लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्टार्ट शेप एंड देन हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर द स्टार्ट शेप इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच माई लास्ट वीडियो प्लीज गो ऑन चेक इट आउट नो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज मेसेज शेप एंड अडवांटेजेस ऑफ मेसेज शेप एंड हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर मेसेज शेप ऑन भूमि so first we can see what is message ship so the message ship generates free flow text message from a dynamic or static set of input parameters so as i said earlier a message ship is one of the execute ship so execute ships are used to transform the data right so same way message ship will transform the data from one ship to another ship now we can see advantages of message ship so message ship creates highly customized alerts suppose uh, you are client ask you to send some alerts when the process got successful or when the process got failed so you can generate customized alerts with the help of message ship and message ship used to send confirmation messages as well suppose your client ask you to send some confirmation messages with the help of message shape you can create message and then you can send and message shape produce a new document to send through the process suppose you are getting some data from one source system and you are processing that data step by step so in some point you don't want the data which is coming from the source and you want to generate a new document at the time you can use message ship so these are the advantages of message ship now we can look into message ship on dalbumi platform so this is the process which i created on last video if you haven't watched my last video please go and check it out now in last video we discuss about start shape right so now i'm going to discuss about message ship so under execute shape you can find message ship you just need to drag and drop the message ship so this is the message shape and here you can see message shape definition so as i said earlier to transform incoming documents data into a free form message using combination of static and dynamic variables use the message shape so the message shape is often used to construct the email messages so which means you can send customized email alerts and then confirmation messages to clients by using message shape so now we can look how to configure message shape so here we need to give display name so this is not a mandatory field if you want to give any name you can give as per your wish or else you can leave as it is and next we have option uh, here the checkbox is unchecked the checkbox says combine documents into a single message suppose from source system you are getting some 10 documents 10 individual documents and you want to combine those 10 documents into a single message you can check this box so that 10 documents will combines into a single document and then message so here you can construct your message as per your requirement so just for demo purpose i am entering message as hello world and then clicking on okay after that i am connecting this start shape to message shape just drag and drop to the message shape so for each and every process start point and end point is mandatory so whenever we created the process that time start shape will appear automatically right so once you complete the build part at the end of the process you have to put start shape i'll explain about this start shape later in coming videos so now we can discuss only message shape so i am connecting this message shape to the start shape so this is how we need to build integrations from start to end we need to connect each and every shape one by one so now my aim is to get the output as hello world
because I have configured message shape with message hello world. So I am saving the process now and I am going to test the process with the help of test button. So here we need to select atom. So if you haven't created any atom, you need to create one atom to run this process. If you want to know how to install the atom, you can watch our previous videos. So now I have already created one test atom. So I'm selecting that one and then clicking on OK button so that the process execution will start from start shape. Yeah, the execution got completed. Now we can look into the result at stop shape so bottom of the process you can see logs uh, by clicking on the shape source data you can see final output of the process so now i clicked on shape source data and here you can see view source and then size of the document so this is the document i mean output document and then this is the size of the output document so i am just clicking on the document it just a single click see hello world got populated because on message shape we constructed message as hello world so i'm coming back to the build mode and i'm clicking on message shape so as i said message shape is a free form text message by using combination of static and dynamic variables right so now we can look into what are the static and then dynamic variables and how to configure those variables on message shape so now i am trying to populate hello world today's date is and if you want to populate date as a dynamic i mean dynamic is nothing but whenever the process runs it will pick system date so for populating variables we need to give variables in flower braces and we have to pass single quotes in in single quotes we have to pass curly braces after that we have to give numbering of the variables so this is the first value we are going to pass from variables right so i am giving one from variables we need to select date so i am clicking on variables so here you can see add button pencil button into arrow up arrow down so with the help of plus button you can add parameters so under variables you can see multiple parameter values like connector call cross reference lookup current data date time document cache lookup document property execution property dynamic process property process property profile element sequential values sql statement static stored procedure and then unique value by using all these parameters you can pass your dynamic or static values into the message shape as of now we are planning to populate date right so i am selecting date and time so after that we need to choose date mask so however you want to populate you can choose the date format from the list if the date format is not in the list you can customize your date mask so now i am choosing date mask as this one so after that we need to select date type so the date type will be current date relative date last run date and then last successful run date so now i am just populating today's date right so i am clicking on current date if you want to populate relative date you can choose relative date so relative to current date which means suppose if you want to populate previous dates you need to select minus if you want to populate coming days you need to select plus button so that is based on your wish so after that you need to select number suppose you want to populate 
coming three days date you need to select plus button after that three and the type will be days here you can choose days or seconds minutes hours three weeks months years if you want to populate after three seconds you can select three three minutes three minutes it will be hard you can select hour if it is a day you can select day if it is a week you can select week so plus three weeks date it will populate okay so now i am just selecting current date and then clicking on ok and i am clicking on ok button i am saving the process and i am going to run the process with test atom i am clicking on ok so the process execution got started so now we can see final output if you observe the size of the document got increased so earlier it was 0.01 right so now the size of the document is 0.05 so we can look into the document see hello world today's date is so the date and then time is populated here so this is how we need to populate dynamic values and now we can see how to populate static values static variables so hello world today's date is and day is so i want to populate which day it is so i'm constructing second variable here in single quotes and i am passing this second variable from variables board so here you need to choose parameter value as static so and today's date is monday right so i am giving monday and okay so here you are passing value as monday and it is a static value so for each and every execution the value second parameter value will be monday and the first parameter value may change because it is a dynamic variable so i'm clicking on ok saving the process and testing now so we can see final output hello world today's date is this one and day is monday yeah so this is how we need to construct message sheet on Boomi. Yeah, that's it for today's video. If you have any doubts, please let me know in comment section. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever I post the video. Thank you all. See you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.